Something, 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 dark side. Something, 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 complete. That was just my best impression of uh, Senator Palpatine. So, you know, because this is Nerd Block, it's the December Nerd Block, and it is the theme of Dark Side. So, hence what I, the stupid thing I was doing, which is actually kind of parody from Family Guy which was doing parody of how Senator Palpatine, Palpatine, you can't tell what he's saying, and then you just hear Dark Side and you just hear Complete. So, at any rate. Sorry I had to explain that to people who just got it. But, actually, I think with the hood up, I look a little bit more because of my beard, like um, Luke Skywalker from Force Awakens. So, but at any rate, um, we have, like I said, the December Nerd Blocks Dark Side theme. Uh, this one, I'm not subscribing to Nerd Block. Uh, this is my free box because they did that whole ordeal where they called out Bam Box for a bad November box. And they said, you know, if you purchase that one, we'll give you a free box of ours to show you what value is. Um, so you only we only had to uh, actually pay the shipping. So I paid $7.95 for this. I'm assuming just off the bat that it's going to be more than worth $7.95. So I'm happy to have it. Uh, I, I Like I said before, I think that them calling out uh, Bam Box was just kind of a really classless, kind of crappy thing to do, but um, doesn't mean I'm not going to take their stuff for free, because you could look at it two different ways. I mean, one, you're getting free stuff. Two, if you don't like what they were doing, you're taking money from them by saying, hey, give me free stuff. So, you know, punish them a little bit for being classless, but at any rate. Um, so... I won't prob I will not be getting any more nerd blocks. I'm assuming one of the things when they had people sign up for a block of their choice with that whole ordeal, they were hoping that what would happen is people would forget to cancel their account in time and that they it would just auto renew so they'd actually get some new subscriptions at least for a month or so or that people would genuinely love whatever block and they would keep getting it. So, um it was a ploy, it was a way to get, you know, more subscribers. So, I already uh Nix my account right after getting this pretty much, so I should not be paying for any more. So we'll see. But who knows? Maybe this will be so amazingly good that I'll be like, oh my god, I need to sign up for NerdBlock. But we'll find out. So let's go ahead and pop this sucker open. And like I said, it's Dark Side. I think there's supposed to be some Rogue One. Actually, I think there's supposed to be a bunch of Rogue One uh, items in here, which I'll, I might say a little bit about Rogue One while I'm doing it, if the items kind of bring something up. But... I will not ruin anything. No spoilers. There will be no spoilers. Don't worry. Because I don't I don't like it when people do that kind of crap. So at any rate, you know, I'll go with the t-shirt first. There's a bunch of like individually wrapped stuff in there. That's... Okay. Well, this is not a Rogue One item. I was actually hoping for like a Rogue One shirt or something. But I actually really like this shirt because and it fits with the theme of Dark Side. It's Decepticon shirt. And actually. For some time now, I've been contemplating. Let me get the tag out of the way. Been contemplating getting some sort of Decepticon shirt. So that's a badass. That's great. I mean, it's simplistic, but it's something I've thought about getting anyway. Something to this effect. So it's pretty awesome. I like it. I like it a lot. I was just for some reason expecting this entire thing to basically be Rogue One, Star Wars stuff, but you can't make that assumption. The theme is Dark Side, so. There's something really large in here, which I can't, I feel like I can't get to anything else unless I take this like massively big thing out of here. So, oh, okay. Uh, what is this? It's a coin bank. Okay. Coin banks. Who really wants coin banks these days? Who uses coin banks? They have to be like super cool to be honest in order for me to be like, oh man, it's a coin bank, you know? All right, so it's a, it is a Rogue One item, which is cool. It's a um, Death Trooper coin bank, if you can see without too much glare on there, but I'll pull it out of here, so. You know, it's licensed. It's a Nerd Block exclusive. I don't know why they have to have the styrofoam on the top, because it's a coin bank. It's not like it's like super brittle or anything, but. Um, I mean, the quality's not bad. Yeah. The green, the green painting in this little, like, these little circles is actually kind of sloppy, but, I mean, the majority of it's, like, colored black, so, 
you know, the mold is basically the main thing. You can't even tell. Uh, maybe in certain angles you can kind of tell. But it's so dark, you know. That's, I mean, I'm not a coin bank person. Like, what's the point? What's the point of a coin bank? <laughs> Some kid might like this. I mean, maybe I can find someone who's like, oh yeah, my kid would love a coin bank. But honestly, I don't, I don't think the kids these days give two craps about coin banks. Just, I don't know. I mean, it's cool that it is a Rogue One item, but it's a coin bank. Like, nobody wants coin banks. At least, in my opinion. There's another large item in here, so I, got, I have to take that out, too, to get to other things. Oh, it's a mug. Okay, I do like... I like mugs. I'm a fan of that. Mugs are a good idea, in my opinion. And I haven't gotten any mugs out of, it, out of any boxes, so this is cool. It's a Darth Vader mug, which, that's cool. It's a little hard to get over. I, I'm not going to really show you the box because, you know, I'll just pull it out. But Darth Vader mug, which is really hard to get out of here. Oh, there we go. I shouldn't have broken that, but I did, so... All right, so it's a chrome, as it says on the box, a chrome Darth Vader mug. This is probably hand wash only, I would assume. Yes, hand wash only, which a lot of people, I well, I wouldn't say a lot, but there are people who complain about getting hand wash only. I don't really care because it doesn't really take you that long to hand wash a mug. You know what I mean? This looks good. Like, it looks really good. Like, the mold on it is super nice. And the chrome is a, is a totally different take. You know, I would assume that most people would think, oh, we'll just throw in, you know, like a black Darth Vader mug, because Darth Vader's black. But having, like, a variation to it like this is pretty sweet. Um, that's cool. So for anyone who's, like, a super um, Star Wars fan, probably really like this, especially if you love some Darth Vader. And which I will say, in Rogue One, there is some awesome Darth Vader stuff. Everyone knows Darth Vader was going to be in there because of where it falls in the timeline, but... Um, yeah, this is cool. I like this. I'll drink out of this. And it's like a normal size looking mug. I don't like when I see when people are getting like the mini mugs. There's no use for a mini mug. Normal size mugs. All right. So I like that. That's a good one. Between that and the t-shirt, I'm pretty happy. Let's see. There's smaller items in here. I hope they're not chintzy crap. Oh no. I think it's a lanyard. I don't like lanyards. There's really no reason for a lanyard. Oh, although this one, the design on it's actually pretty cool. Um, the Galactic Empire protect the Galactic Empire is what it says. Okay. So you can see, if you can see, protect the Galactic Empire is what it says. And it's green and black. And on the inside, it's just got like the Empire logo, which is cool. And then it's got like this little hanging pendant. The black and green together looks really sweet. And then this is for whatever you want to put in here. Uh, I don't really have use for lanyards, but as far as lanyards go design-wise, this one's pretty cool. I like it. It's good. Someone will really enjoy that if they use lanyards. So, that's fine. Next item. Are these coasters? Yeah, coasters. Okay. I like coasters. I don't have a ton of coasters, so I'm down with that. These are not coasters you could use a whole lot. They're friggin cardboard um cheap uh cheap ass cardboard coasters the designs on them are no no i'm not even gonna pretend they're okay the designs on them suck let's be honest good idea like you can see actually it looks better on the screen because it makes it darker but in the actual light like it's it's kind of supposed to be like this sketchy like Part of the coloration is there, part of it's not, kind of like faded picture. Um, but it's so faded that it actually kind of comes off crappy. So this one's like a Stormtrooper. We've got a Darth Vader one, as you can see. I like that they're different. It's a good idea. Uh, this is one of those Death Troopers that we got the coin bank of. Yeah, it looks <laughs> way freaking better on the screen that I'm looking at than it does in actual life. And then this one's a Death Star. There you go. Uh, the design, like the design idea and the idea of these are a good idea. 
Uh, they're really crappy cardboard, so they're not going to hold up very well. And the actual execution of the artwork sucks. So these things are not a good item, in my opinion. Could have been a good item, but they suck. Is there anything else in here? No, not really. Mm -mm -mm. See what else they kind of garbage they throw in here. Got. I'll just put this down here because it's in my way. Okay, so uh, they're talking about how arcade blocks being updated, which is actually a good thing. They're going to have two separate ones. Gamer blocks is what they're going to be calling them, and one is E for everyone and one's M for mature. I think that's a good concept, so they just kind of have like a promo for that. It's a good idea to do something like that. Uh, $10 credit for shirt punch. And actually, I'll just show you guys the code if somebody wants that. So if I can get it close enough. First person who gets that code, if you can decipher it, you won't be able to. Sorry. <laughs> because of my camera and everything. But Okay, so it looks like all the items were exclusive, which is good. That's cool. Um... Yeah, there's no, there are no like variations or anything because that's what it is. Uh, so for the next month, they're saying for January, the regular nerd block is going to be Stark Industries, which sounds like a good one for any Iron Man fans or Marvel fans in general. So it's a good idea. Overall, um, I'm not terribly impressed, to be honest. Um, you know, they talk about, let show you what value is. It's, it's okay. Like, I really like the mug. The mug is, is really cool. And the... Um, the shirt, the shirt's really cool, even though, but that's kind of funny, actually, because everything was Star Wars except the shirt. If you're going to do that, I would think just go ahead and make the shirt Star Wars then, and then it's all cohesive. It's just weird to have a bunch of items that are Star Wars and then one item that's not. So eh, it's just kind of a bad choice in a sense, but I love the shirt. Honestly, eh, yep, shirt's my favorite thing out of this, <laughs> out of this, this box. Um, I don't have use for much of the rest of it. Uh, coin bank, no one's going to use coin bank. The coasters are very poorly done, but they can be displayed. But like I said, the art actually didn't come out that well on them. Um, if people like lanyards, the lanyard is actually cool. Uh, yeah, so I'll use the mug, wear the shirt. But, you know, I'm not terribly impressed, got to be honest. Uh, I won't sign up for Nerd Block. Uh, I'm actually more excited to get my BAM box each month. Sorry. No matter what happens, you know, they had a bad month in November, but they bounced back and they had a nice month in December. And I'm way more excited to see what they're going to do than what kind of chintzy crap uh, NerdBlock's going to put in to just, like, pad the the value. Um, so, I don't know. They have good stuff from time to time. I was actually kind of expecting in this NerdBlock, like, a pop figure, uh, but... I don't know. I felt I felt like that would have been awesome if they could do like not exclusive, but just like a pop figure from Rogue One would have been a good idea if, instead of this coin bank. So, but anyway, um, got it for seven dollars and ninety five cents. I mean, it was worth it for me personally. Would I pay the normal value for this and be okay? Nah, nah, I wouldn't be all right with that. Um, so, uh, well, although maybe I'd be okay just because of the the shirt and the mug. So maybe It'd be about that. It wouldn't be crazy awesome. But at any rate, I'm going to stop rambling. Everyone out there, if you haven't seen Rogue One yet, go ahead and see Rogue One because it really is a nice film. It's quite nice. Gareth Edwards, the director, did an amazing job directing. Um, it's not the best film, in my opinion. I, I do think it's getting overhyped, but it is quite good. So it's definitely worth seeing. You will enjoy it, especially if you're a Star Wars fan. One of the problems is just that if you know Star Wars, you know what the story is going to be. So it has a little bit less emotional effect to what's, what goes on with it. But other than that, it's well done. So everybody out there, I don't think you need to sign up for Nerd Block necessarily unless you really like what you saw. But do go see Rogue One because it's worth it. So anyway, thank you everyone for checking this out. Keep it brutal.